Hello, all ya boys and girls, it's Michael here from MTG and more. And today we are going to take a look at the uh, bottom plate for the Sigmarot Mausoleum. As with the pre previous videos, I am going to start with the uh, flooring and the same as the walls. We are going to use cold grey from Vallejo. And on top of that, some stonewall grey, as you can see, just in a couple of days. A couple of, couple of, hear me talking, a couple of days, a couple of minutes. Um, we're just going to take it easy. I'm going to paint over the casket, so that will be a little bit rough to see. But you'll get used to it. Some wiping on the floors, since you can see that through the uh, windows of the mausoleums. So here's the uh, stone wall grey. And immediately you can see it brightens up the, uh, the whole thing. So that's pretty awesome. I do brush rather heavy, but do keep in mind that I will do uh, a couple of layers to keep it as dusty as possible. And if you do it correctly, it should look like something like this. It's pretty cool to see. And it's really nice to paint some easy ways to have uh, walls, tiles, floor tiles and everything. And well, it still doesn't look like black anymore, which is a good thing, of course. On to the sand. We are going to use the earth tone from Vallejo. And just smear that stuff all over the place of course obviously everywhere where there should be sand there's no real technique to this just be as tight and as tidy as you can because the dry brushing is already finished and we don't want to re dry brush everything and a little mistake could show up really nasty so as you can see here, I'm really doing my best to paint uh, well on the sides of the uh, skulls and now I decide to just paint over them. Who cares, you lighten the, the base coat as well with this. So that shouldn't be a problem when you paint over with the uh, bone white. In the meantime, when you're watching this, uh, if you still haven't subscribed, now please that would be awesome it doesn't mean an awful lot to you guys besides the fact that you might get a notification every now and then but it really means a lot to me and also of course take a look at my previous videos and especially the miniature showcase you can really see a lot of videos in a really short time in the meantime we're on the half of the uh, sand There you go. Now for some touch-ups. Just little pieces here and there. And now it's on with the gunmetal for the casket. As with the sand on the tidy places, try to be as tidy as possible because this really shows up as... Uh, in a, in a nasty way. Of course, there is a, uh, a mausoleum on top of it, a little house, uh, or a little house, but of course, you can still see the minor mistakes you make here. On top of it, it's really uh, easy to tidy up, but on the sides, like here, it's kind of hard when you don't uh, be really tidy and cleaning up afterwards. It's never as good as just doing it at one time, so be precise, please. It's for your own goodness. See? That's how it should look. Now, there's a little crest. Is that what you call it in English? Crest? Uh, right here. And the bad thing about that is just I made a really tiny mistake there. Yeah, there. 
you see me pointing it really fast and that's a pity on to the skulls so why aren't you painting the skulls in the uh, in a coffin the broken coffin where my thumb is well because they're in the dark and they should be a little bit more dark with the dry brushing they really got a little tone so you can just make out uh, their their silhouettes on the uh, on the black so that doesn't matter now the skulls are almost done yeah there you go let's go to nylox oxide for the weathering of the casket of course it needs to be done off camera oh there you go now i was painting so slow that even right now on four times the speed it still looks slow can you imagine But of course, it pays when you take it easy and take it really slow to have a nice result. And now you can see it pretty cool. And it's a bit messy now, but trust me, it'll clean up when you dry brush it with the uh, bright bronze, of course, also from Vallejo. Some dipping on the crest. Yes. So here is me dry brushing the uh, casket again. Do keep in mind that gold paint or bronze paint or metallic paint on what, what way is made out of flakes. The bad thing about this is, is that the casket now really looks good, but the rest of the, um, the base where the casket is on is covered in little flakes of gold. Here is me using the Agrax Earth Shade again, just dabbing it and plumbing it all over. Pretty easy. Not much to it. I can't tell you really a lot about this, but it's just dabbing it everywhere. Yes. Now the dry brushing of the skulls and the sand to give it a little bit more detail. Like in previous videos, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with the sand. I'm still not satisfied with it, but what I started, I need to finish. So, yeah, that's it. And here is the finished product. Easy to do, pretty fast to paint. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you soon.